Hello my friends, Wayne here once again for Zombie Kitty. Welcome you to part number 5 of my Static Decay 2 Juggernaut Edition playthrough first look series. So when we left off, we managed to find a decent stash of materials here. I've still got plenty of things that I need to deposit. And we've just been searching the surrounding area for uh, gear and things to aid our survival. This, we've literally just been robbed as well. Some guy came into camp and robbed a rucksack of food. This house has food next to it. And then I headed up and over and found the dude that had stole the food in the first place. Now this is a quest to do with Silvio. So this guy is literally just standing around wounded. He's got a big ass gun on his back though. So I do not really want to pick a fight with him unless I have to. And I don't think I'll win my little pistol compared to that big ass gun and I don't really want to raise a gunfight at this time of night as well so if he dies he dies let's just fast search and I can get my food back but that quest is for Silvio so at some point I'm gonna to have to switch out to Silvio I've got a lovely pack of food there to take on with me so the guy didn't even need Nothing to rob me he just needed to come over like, at all. The, uh, literally over the road from base and then he could have just had some for free and we wouldn't be in a situation where I'm about to cop, uh, pop a cap right in his batty crease so three out of five containers searched. We got a fourth one here. I can't Alyssa let that has increased in standing. A roll of firecrackers there. One more room to search and one container still to find, potentially in the kill kitchen. Every myself, people? Yep, right in the refrigerator. Can we score gold and find another We're rucksack? We cannot, but one is good enough. Still got a lot of gear to deposit as well. You alright there, mate? Hey, how's it going? You're you're good there or take care. Want to give me some some of my gear back, or just gonna stand there and wait to, until Sil Sylvia murders you? Whatever floats your boat, sugar tits. So let's deposit that, and now we need to head back over the road to base camp and deposit this gear. There's a screamer just across the way there, which I think would be a good idea to get rid of him before it causes an infestation in the area. So let's get this bitch dead. Nice increase in standing there for Lissa as well. Now let's head back over the road to base camp, park up, deposit all our gear, and decide what we are going to do next. Alyssa's still doing pretty badass so far. Really would be advantageous to improve her wits and cardio a little bit better. She's already a master shooter, so let's get all this gear deposited back in base. Uh, where else have we got in here? Jugs of ethanol can go. Fuel can I'll keep on person, parts can go in, and the extra ammunition I'll keep on myself as well. So there we go. Now, how are we looking for materials and things now? So we've got nine materials, so that should be enough to build a garden, which will give us a residual food source. But food doesn't seem to be that big of a problem at the moment. We really need more meds. Uh, there's no point building more beds yet, as I haven't found any more survivors. Uh, fighting gym increases the rate of fighting improvement. That might be a good idea, because we've got two survivors that really need to work on their fighting skills. A latrine for morale, the shooting range to try and shoot in. A defense and utilities. Build a watchtower, enables arm guard and reduces threat. Requires ammo and at least one armed survivor to function. A rain collector for water. Drinking water, so morale will be boosted. And Jenny for uh, base wide power. As long as we. Ah, access to light via power, morale will be boosted as well. I might save these until we move into a bigger house because there's a lot of things that seem to be really advantageous but I don't really need them at this stage when my community is so small. Uh, speaking of which, I have yet to set an outpost and I've yet to use these features on the radio as well. So let's radio anyone out to out find there? other survivors Seriously, anyone? and see if we can meet a few I, I additional friends, anyone. maybe bring some people into the community. The bystanders. So the bystanders can be found. Oh, that's the bounty broker. Uh, where the fuck did they come? External goals, welcome to the party. Yep, but where are they? Anybody see a little question mark on the map or no? I can't see it. Let me see where they are. Are they already in here and maybe here, Mum? Missing something? Welcome Juan and the bystanders to town. Yep, I think the bitches are already indoors and maybe I've missed them. Because it's telling me to go here. Is that the 
the boy. Nope. Oh wait, there's a big fucking big arrow there. So that will probably be helpful. So let's head back to the vehicle. <laughs> what a dumbass. Let's head back to the vehicle and head and meet the new friends in the area. More survivors on deck would be fantastic. And they really don't live that far away either. So what is the cooldown on the radio for finding people? Another 40 minutes to go thereabouts. So let's follow the road around and go and meet our potential new friends, new trading partners. Avoid the walkers for the time being. I do not want to... Well, for one, I don't want to raise any attention. I just saw a bloater ping on the map as well, so that could be nasty. Got a horde that's just spawned as well. So let's bring the horde to meet our new friends as well. It's always a good day when you bring a horde to meet your friends. Especially when making noise as well. So who do we have in here? We've got... Stop running away. We've got Nickel, Pillar, Pillar, and the other dude, wherever he is. There he is. And Juan. Feel free to reach out, our radio is always on. Hmm. Interesting, so I might get a good recruit out of these guys. Let me check their stats in a moment, but first things first, I really want to be checking for loot. Uh, What's so going let's on, see huh? what Pilar has to offer for us. Uh, mm, mediocre skills at best, not too sure where her traits are. She's a bartender. Uh, you kill. Decent cardio, really decent cardio. He's fighting and shooting a naff, but he's got a blank space so he could teach him something. Pasa, eh? So it could be, he could even be like a doctor or something. Learn about this survivor. We've got a mechanics expert there, so would be a really fantastic idea to bring this boy along. So yep, yeah, let's keep on these guys' friendly sides. We might get a mechanic, and we've got a blank space there for a doctor as well. In fact, I think, oh, a bomber jacket, gunmetal. I haven't actually checked the additional abilities of our current survivors just yet, so let's have a look at that. Uh, community. Uh, Lissa, let's see what we've got there. So, painting, can't really teach her anything. We could teach Chip to be a doctor, and Silvio is a driving expert, so Chip could. If Chip still stands to learn something at this stage. I'm not going to set a leader because I haven't decided who I want to be the leader yet. Anything else in here? Some more ammunition. I think my inventory's full. Anything else? Uh, the place has been bled oh, dry. Nice. Time to move on. A pile of weapon remains. Break down into a lot of parts. I think I'll just take the extra ammunition for the for, for the time being as well. So I'm not a bad little haul from coming to meet the neighbours, guys. Not a little, not a bad little haul at all. Where the fuck did I leave my car? It looks like there's another vehicle around the back as well. So. Is this mine? <laughs> Let's go and see what this vehicle is across the way here. Uh, it's a transit van, a repair van. I wonder if they've got anything in the trunk that I can steal for myself. Yep, we've got a toolkit no there. That. Oh, no fucking space, of course I haven't. It's got a bit of fuel in as well. So if I take it and leave it in front of the neighbours, the next time I visit the neighbours, I can grab this. Uh, I can walk. There's a, did you see the rat? There was a rat. If I leave that there, I can grab the vehicle. Oh god, the zombies. That was nice. That was a nice dismember. Yeah, when I, if, I can walk over to the neighbours next and I can just grab this on the way. Uh, deposit everything. Uh, I'm going to take the toolkit and the tyre iron. Uh, deposit that in there and then let's head back and drop the rest of this gear to base camp. Not a bad little haul, we got to meet some new neighbours. One of them could potentially be a really useful asset to the team as a mechanic. So we always want people that can rescue cars, especially when you're driving as wank as mine. That bloater's still on the road, as is the horde. Try to avoid the bloater. And also I'll try not to bring everything back home to eat all my friends. So let's park up. And deposit you all the gear back me, into base. You? Talk to your visitor, White. So a potential new friend there as well. Who is a trader. Uh, that can go in, the ammo rucks that can go in. Tire iron. Uh, the additional gun can go in. I'm going to keep my ammunition, energy drinks, bandages and snacks on me. Let's head inside and talk to our guest. Where is the guest? 
There's the bitch. Right, guys, that's it for this one. I shall see you shortly for part number six, where we'll be dis uh, finding out what our guest wants. Uh, we've still got the Warlord uh, quest to catch a thief from Sylvia, and we've got a mysterious stranger on the map as well. So plenty of things to be going on with. Our supplies are starting to look a bit better, except for the meds. So we definitely need more meds. So thank you very much for watching, guys. All the best, and goodbye.